Thank you for selecting Weather Shield Windows and Doors. This video will cover a typical installation of a window with an integral nail fin. Before you begin, make sure you have the proper tools and materials to perform the installation. Always use appropriate safety equipment. Throughout this video, we will be using the following terms and images to represent the components involved in a window installation. Step 1. Verify the rough opening. Check the opening is plumb and level and square. Measure the rough opening and make sure it is a half to three quarters inches larger than the window in width and height. Step 2. Preparing the opening. Cut the house wrap at the sill two inches below the rough opening and two inches past the jams on each side. This will allow the nailing fin to mount directly to the sheathing. Cut the house wrap at the head even with the framing and diagonally past the jams six inches to create a flap. Fold the flap up and temporarily tape it above the opening. Create sill flashing by cutting two four inch lengths of six inch wide flashing tape. Fold each of the four inch pieces in half and cut the folded corners to create a bow tie shaped corner guard. Remove the tape backing and apply a guard to each of the sill corners. Half the guard will cover the jam and sill and the other half will be folded over the exterior sheathing. Cut a length of six inch wide flashing tape equal to the rough opening plus eight inches. Remove the tape backing and apply the tape to the sill, covering approximately three inches of the sill and extending four inches up the sides. Fold the remaining flashing out onto the exterior sheathing and roll smooth to remove any air pockets and to promote adhesion. Step 3. Installing the window. Dry fit the window to ensure the window can fit the opening with a minimum of a quarter inch clearance around the window. Remove the window and apply a continuous 3 8 inch bead of sealant to the jam and head nailing fin. Keep sealant in line with the pre-punched nailing fin holes. Apply an intermittent 3 8 inch bead of sealant to the sill nailing fin to allow any incidental water that collects at the sill to drain to the exterior. Immediately after applying sealant, lift and center window in the opening from the exterior, setting the sill in first and tipping the window into place. Level window on the interior or exterior across the sill and head and place shims under each jam on the sill. For mold units, shim under both jams at the mullion. Secure one side top corner with either a rust-proof roofing nail or a number 8 steel screw. Fasteners must be long enough to penetrate the framing material by at least one and a half inches. Measure unit exterior from corner to corner to check for square. Add shims four to six inches from the corners at the side jams and at 16 inch intervals on center. Shim at check rails and meeting styles. Measure the entire window interior assembly diagonally in both directions and check for plumb, level, and square. When window is plumb, level, and square, Continue fastening through the nailing fin holes. Place fasteners four inches from each corner and spaced every four to eight inches on center. Step four, flashing the installation. Cut two lengths of four inch wide flashing tape equal to the rough opening jam height plus five inches. Remove the backing of the tape and apply over the nailing fin and the house wrap, keeping centered on the side jam. Cut one piece of four inch wide flashing tape equal to the width of the window plus 10 inches. Remove the backing of the tape and apply over the head nailing fin, extending past the jam flashing by at least one inch. Roll the tape smooth with a J roller to eliminate bubbles and promote adhesion. Replace the flap created during preparation of the weather resistive barrier and tape the seams with WRB tape or window flashing tape. Step five, insulating and sealing the installation. Insulate and seal the gap between the rough opening and the window frame using either loose fill fiberglass insulation or low expansion polyurethane foam. If using foam, make sure and use a brand that is recommended for windows. Only fill the void half the depth of the jam to allow for expansion. For more detailed instructions, please check the instructions that came with your window or contact your local WeatherShield representative.